So, welcome again to Old Time Tuesdays. Um, to, we had we put up a belly warmer for a young lady to wear to keep her core of her body warm under her clothes, and had a great deal of interest on that. Um, so people sending emails and commenting on our thing, and also we've had a believe it or not a couple of letters, which is very rare in this day and age. So we had a couple of letters. Um, one from someone who can't do emails, a bit like myself, but um, so they sent a letter and say, you know, they found it so interesting, and I was talking about foot warmers. Now, I'm sure most people have seen certainly more foot warmers than you would do, you know, belly warmers, if you like. So what I've done is got a, a collection here of some, uh, you know, foot warmers. They, you know, they call them foot warmers, but um, this one here, for instance, could be a foot warmer, but it's not really the shape. When I got this, I got this one myself, and when I got it, it was in, I couldn't make out what it was, and it was in a muff, which I find quite, was it? so, big fur muff, yeah, and this had a covering over it, which had disintegrated, but the muff was still there, a fur muff, and uh, in an old harness room, and obviously, must have sat like that with their hands inside, you know, to keep them warm. But it is quite round. I found that, you know, whether it was actually made for that job or adapted, I don't know. But it seemed a bit deep. You'd only need it that big. On the other hand, if this was full of sand and you heated it, or even water, which was used as well, um, then it would hold the heat much longer because it's much bigger. So, you know, you could argue both ways. But um, that's how it was. So I had a, had a covering over this of like a carpeting material. And then a fur, very lightweight carpet, I should say, and a, and a fur muff, which come out about here. So time the lady had her cuffs, or the gentleman sat there with it on their lap, I suppose that was feasible that it would keep them warm. Yeah. And now I'm going to show you a couple of the, oh, definitely foot warmers. I'll leave that one over there so you can make a comparison. So here's a foot warmer. Now this one here, is just how I've got it out of the cupboard. Um, I haven't tried to, you know, polish it up or anything. I don't think that's what we need to do with these sort of things. Just keep them as well. And this one was well worn. You can see here, you know, tremendously worn. Yeah. This side not as much, but still worn. Now you can argue this is an old wall carpet, and I've no doubt it's got a bit of moth in it as well. I know I keep on about stitching, but the stitching around this this um, Bice binding, which is what they called this material, bice binding, they put it on the edge of stuff like that, or carpet binding, this is heavy bice binding, um, I believe, and that was on there just to stop it fraying the carpet, obviously, and coming on, you know, where it's woven, coming apart. So that's a warmer there, you've got your hole on the end to wash it, and we're gonna have a look here at the name of it. This one come from a cell, Reading Carriage Cell, so what we've got on here is this warmer must be quite full before it's screwed down. So not a name at all. I've never looked at that actually. But not a name at all, but just some instructions on how to use it. And there was lots of companies that made these, you know. I mean, if you think how many carriages there must have been on the road, the good thing to do is to go and look at Pathé News. You know, if you put into your computer on YouTube, Pathé News, and put, you know, traffic scenes 100 years ago, you get a shock. I mean, a serious shock. Just how much traffic there would be in the centre of a city. Massive. Well, if it was a freezing cold day, everybody would want to keep warm, wouldn't they? And also, the coachman was very keen to keep it warm, the carriage, or take the chill off the inside because he had to maintain it. So he didn't want it getting damp. Certainly didn't want to get in temp. And a lot of coach houses had some form of heating in. We'll talk about that in another thing. One, one I saw that was Bose Lyons, the Queen's mother's family. They had a, a, a small coach house um, over in the New Forest. And, uh, well, house and, and coach house over there. And um, that had heating, um, you know, heating pipes going round to keep the, you know, stop the stuff going mildew because it was hard work to keep it dry. So they would often put one in overnight inside a carriage just to keep it nice 
So it was aired, if you like, even if it wasn't kept actually warm, it would be aired. So there's that one, and this other one is quite... Um, I, I haven't cleaned these and polished them up or done anything with them, but this one, I love this old carpet on this, you know, it feels so nice. You could imagine a young lady slipping her little shoes off and putting her feet on there, you know, in a carriage where it'd be lovely and warm, ever so soft. And again, the binding around the edge. But what's interesting here, really interesting to me, is this one comes out. Yeah. So there's the thing itself. Looks almost like a silencer on a, on a modern car, doesn't it? But there's the plug to open to put it in, you know, to fill it with hot water. It looks to me all the world like it's had a repair here done which is you know just lovely to see it's it's a lead repair on copper um exactly what it looks like it wouldn't have been where they filled it at one time and changed their mind they're always in the end because obviously your feet go on here so they wouldn't have that you'd be wearing through the carpet so we could polish a bit but she's copper um and you see them hung up in pubs sometimes highly polished and they would have been kept polished you know back in the day and this lovely old bit of linen on here, you know. But the thing I find quite interesting is the way the inside's done. You know, the carpet, the backing of the carpet. And you could imagine that holding the heat in for a massive amount of time. But here is interesting. How old are press studs? Only we've got three press studs here, look, to close this up. So were they added at a later date? I don't know quite possibly was it meant to be closed up yes it would be but it, if it was used like that then that flap would have sat down over the end and kept the heat in and forcing the heat up through the carpet so i find this one quite fascinating i would like to you know polish one up and have all this cleaned and washed but why would you because that's how it was when i found it you see the inside there yeah and this, whoever stitched this round here, you know, just lovely, just nice work. There's a number on here, um, can't really make out what it says, but I think it's a price of it, you know, so it must have hung up somewhere to be sold in recent years, and there was a sticker on there with a the price. I haven't got my glasses, but we'll have a look in a minute. Having now got my glasses, it's £12. So I would imagine this was in an antique shop not too many years ago, but ended up in a carriage shell. So there you go, our older press studs, there's another question. So when you get into this sort of thing, then you find you, you're, you're looking up, you know, how old are these? When did these come out, you know? But these could well have been added afterwards just to shut the end up. Because this doesn't really, if you look at it, this, this doesn't really accommodate going over there you know, and it, it will still work. The press does still work. Now if we put this back in, and it must have been quite a job putting it in. You need a pair of gloves on, I should think, when it was red hot. <laughs> but when we put this on here, it's hard to get this to come over. It doesn't look to me like it was made to do that. You know, I think it would have been just kept with that. So this obviously can't fall down there because the press studs are in yeah but i would have thought that you know if we put it up like that but i would have thought that it never had them originally they'd have been it would have been done looking at the rest of the work they would have been done a lot neater they'd have been an integral part of it and i think it was an add-on afterwards but i'd like to know just how old press studs are but it would have been kept up that way so the flap just hung down and keep your feet on it in a carriage so there you go three different types or sizes of foot warmer i've seen some even bigger you know maybe go four foot across but they're rare very very rare so there you go foot warmer okay see you next time <laughs>